All right, welcome guys. So we have a little bit of a failure here. We came all the way up here to this Bumping Palace, which is the royal, uh, like summer palace or winter palace, one of the two. And uh, we're just gonna go check out the botanical garden and everything. And we get up here and everything is closed due to COVID. They'll let you park, but you can't go in and see anything. So let's go to plan B. And let's Alright, so since we're in the north, we had to get some northern food. So we're getting cow soy. And it's got these little dry noodles, and it's got some chicken inside there, and it's got some coconut milk and all of that. Now it looks spicy to me, but it, they said it was gonna be my pet mac, which is not spicy at all. So we'll dig in with this and we'll see how it how it is. You can see the chicken leg right in there. We'll see how this is when we're done. Okay, so done with the, the meal. It wasn't too bad. It was, uh, it was a little spicier than uh, what I was told because it had some kick to it, but eh, it was manageable. The noodles were pretty good, and the chicken, the chicken was fine. It was a little better after I tossed the, the lime on it. Anyway, it, total damages for two and a Coke was 140 baht, so a little bit less than $5. Meh, it is what it is. A little more expensive, I was expecting about 40 baht for for the meal but it was 60 but it's still okay all right so we continue on all right so our journey here has led us up to doi pui and we're up here at a, at a mong village we were going to go to the royal summer palace and it was closed due to uh the current situation they was going to go to doi Intanon, and the man at the palace told us doi Intanon was closed so we called there and they say it's closed also due to the current situation so we took a little one lane road up here through the jungle, kind of an interesting little road. And now we're gonna check out how some of the mountain people live. All right, so enjoy. So it looks like this is kind of a hillside market with some stalls set up. Looks like most of them are closed due to everything else right now. I have a little staircase. So it doesn't look like it's handicap accessible at all. But you gotta go up and down these stairs to go anywhere. Some of the stocking caps, you'd need those in this uh, terribly cold weather. Scarves. and the cute hats for the kids with the long ears. Some tea and all that. Oh, sorry, cap. Oh, the real gems sell very cheap. Real jade. Oh. Can, can buy the cat also? And some t-shirts and stuff. Looks like the skirts are five dollars and the t-shirts are five dollars also. Some of the honey and snacks. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
ุดเรสก็มีค่ะตัดเย็บเองขายถูกเลยค่ะ Some of the Chiang Mai styles of dresses. Hello. Have my size of dress? Yours, Have yours, my size? Yours? No. no. <laughs> I I sell only um I sell only women. Oh yeah, no, I joke. t a l o k Don't have have no um for for men. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> But my mom makes by herself. Oh, your mom makes these? Yes. Wow. Make my hair still all. This one all. This one is girls. Uh huh. Yes, it's really cheap. One hundred baht for this. Mm hmm. And this one is dress. Yeah. Dress uh two hundred fifty baht. Oh, it's very nice. Yes, it's really cheap. More than our cheap more than Chiang Mai city. Mm hmm. Yes. Or another uh, southern of Thailand, yes. Very who good. get uh, who get it so expensive mm -hmm. for these? So you can get these for three dollars, and the little dress there, she would sell those for about seven dollars and fifty cents. And if her mom makes it, that's a very good price. Uh, a couple of some more purses and stuff. So definitely some different stuff than you'd see around Bangkok. Still has a feel of being very, very touristy though. But hey, it's a it's a market, and these people this is how they make their living. So if you want to come up here and see a nice little windy road, if you want to brave the brave the road yourself, you can drive like I did. More stalls here, and the windy staircase. Yeah, whenever the tourists are here, this would probably be a lot of fun, with all of these little stalls open and lots of people walking back and forth. Stairs are kind of uneven. Got little stairs and big stairs, but it all gets you up the mountain. So outside the little market, have a lady over here sewing. Wow, s w a y Mac. Part of the little village here. Chickens running around. And their garage. A little lean-to. Chicken coop built on the back of their house here. Get some fresh eggs. Chickens on the hoof here. Here with the little baby on the back. It's pretty nice. Right up here on the mountain, Doi Pu. Have some houses up there. So we get a view of the valley from here. Ancient gun used to shoot elephants.
So that's the valley view. Back into the market here. Family in there eating dinner. Seems to be about five chickens for every people, every one person. Some wine. Like this, uh, yes. wine. Uh, right. Okay. Some nice silk shirts. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you want to take mm -hmm. this coffee? Oh, no, it's okay, my kid. Cup on a cup. He's in there shining up his toy. He's got it on the on the jack stand. He's he's in business. Some of the little bags you carry over your shoulder. And some sweaters here for this terrible cold. Lady here selling. Yen Mai? Ah, she said she's cold. Like I said, when, the, when you go up a couple thousand feet in elevation, that Thai people get freezing cold up here on the mountain. So this is pretty nice here. Got all the way up to the top of the village. You can see the bamboo growing up here. Oh, that's really nice. Coffee shops right up here at the top. You can smell the coffee roasting. Look at the size of that bamboo. That is, it's gigantic. There's some banana trees up there. It's really nice up above, kind of just a little bit out of the town. The jungle. This would be quite a challenge to drive your car up into here to park. I'm willing to wager there's not any stretch limos and Humvees coming up in here. They built the cages to keep you from walking out of the back of the house. Cooking some lunch here. Most of the Thai cooking is done outside due to the smells. And if you uh, live in a wooden house, like a lot of these people, you don't want to have any fire if possible inside your house. A lady feeding the chicken some corn. Sorry, cop. village down there. Lunch anybody?
So this mountain tribe is just up here in the mountains, not too far from Chiang Mai. So you could get up here, it's, I don't know, about 35, 40 minutes outside of Chiang Mai to get here. Come up here and see how these guys are living. But I think with the, with the automobile that they pretty much are just tied into the Thai culture now. There's not a super like distinct culture that you can see. Some of the people going by. <laughs> but uh, I think they can go into town and they've kind of assimilated pretty much. There's not a real, to me, I don't get like a real distinct, like, wow, this is super different than being anywhere else in Thailand. Other than they just have their houses built up here on the hill. Got the kids out doing something. Preparing some food for some reason. Got a bunch of clothes hanging in there to dry. Nice wooden house here next to one that's not as nice. <laughs> woman on the motorcycle with a little baby. Safety first. I'm just surprised that they didn't have a mask on the little baby going down this mountain road. All right, so we're getting some of this tea here. So this right here is 200 baht, so about $6 for this oolong tea. And I have some of this other here for, that's about $3 for the oolong tea in the red and the green tea, oishi, chrysanthemum tea, butterfly pea tea, lemongrass, all different kinds of flavors. So you're getting this for a gift for people back home. It's pretty customary in Thailand when you go somewhere to buy some gifts for people back home to show them where you went. So some coffee here, it's double caffeine stronger, so that's about $7, seven, seven We have the high caffeine intense, and then the low caffeine, the healthy. So he sells his stuff and then he's got his restaurant here. Yeah, pretty nice old man there that was running that shop. Talked to him for a little bit and you know, he's he told me he hasn't had any customers in over a year. It's, he's really having a tough time here. So, but he fun to talk to and he wanted to know where I was from and everything. So, pretty friendly. So they have the wine and everything here. But anyway, guys, I think that's enough of the little village. It's kind of fun to, to walk around up in here, see their houses and all of that. But it, again, it does have the feel of just being very touristy. It's not like you're going to like an authentic village where they're just out there cut off from civilization. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share it with your friends. And if you want to see something different, leave me a comment down below. And as always, guys, life is a journey. Enjoy.